HubSpot tutorial for beginners how to use HubSpot CRM. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I will show you how to use HubSpot.com as your CRM, get all of the features and tools. I will show you a CRM dashboard on HubSpot, how to sign up and also what's the pricing plan to help you make an informed decision if HubSpot is the right choice for you or not. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So what you have to do is you will simply go to HubSpot.com and you will land on this platform right here. HubSpot is an all-in-one platform with our own marketing hub, sales hub, service hub, CMS hub and operations hub. You can simply sign up for HubSpot by clicking right here. You can start for free. Signing your process is really easy. You simply sign up with your email address or you can sign up with your Google account. When it comes to the pricing plan of HubSpot, you simply, you know, select any of the plan let's go with this one right here this is going to be the crm and let's check it out so this is the sales hub right here the crm in crm we get our contact deal and task management email tracking email templates document sharing meeting scheduling gmail and outlook integration live chat and codes you can also go ahead and get a premium sales crm for your hubspot you can sign up for free as well so i'm gonna go ahead and click on you know sign up the signing up process is really easy you simply sign it with your google account after the initial sign up this is where you will land this is my my CRM dashboard right here and in HubSpot you can see right here we have contact we have conversations marketing sales services automation and reports in sales we have deals fork tasks we have documents meetings payments playbooks and codes as well so this is going to be our crm and let me actually show you how we can use it so you will simply go ahead and add a contact first simply go to contacts on hubspot and it will allow you to add a new contact to add a new contact you simply click right here create contact you have to add an email address first name last name job title phone number life cycle stage that if it's a lead a subscriber customer this is actually a customer then we have lead status and you can simply go ahead and add new click on create contact and a new contact will be added right here on your hubspot so this is the contact that i just created and now you can see right here i can create a note for my contact right here then we have create an email option make a phone call you know lock a call then we have create a task and schedule a meeting as well we have all the information right here the activity for my contact then we have notes email calls task and meetings then we have you know company you can add the company for this client right here you can add the deals related to this contact you can add attachments contact create attribution list memberships and playbook so with hubspot crm we can add all of these different you know tools and features and it allows us to customize our contact and it and it helps us to improve our CRM. So let's say that I want to, you know, schedule a meeting. So what I can do is go to meetings right here and click on create meeting. And now I can use Google Calendar or maybe Outlook Calendar. So I'm going to go with Google Calendar. Now I simply have to add this integration here and I'm going to connect my Google Calendar to my HubSpot. Once you connect your Google Calendar with your HubSpot, then you will be able to schedule a meeting. So let's go ahead and add a title. So this is actually a new lead meeting for me. So I'm going to go ahead and add this title right here. Then we have the start time. We have duration. So the duration is going to be one hour and 30 minutes. We can add attendees description that who is going to be attending. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, add details right here. We can add 
internal notes and then we can add go to more and it will allow you to add attachments and to connect a video conference as well so this is going to be my you know information for the meeting i'm going to click on save and it will be saved right here you can see right here now i have scheduled a meeting with my customer uh, this is how i can simply go ahead and also create a task let's say that i want to create a task for this person they asked me to do something and they have actually assigned me to find the documents let's say they want me to find the documents and i have due date is actually three business days this is going to be this i'm going to actually add a reminder one hour before if i forget somehow or maybe i need a reminder then we have priority so this is actually a high priority then i can assign this to anyone in my team i can assign it to myself or maybe another member i'm going to assign it to myself and click on greed so now i have a task as well for this customer right here i will be able to check it out if i have done the task i will simply click right here and it will be you know checked from here that i have already created the task similarly we have our notes as well i can create create a note uh, for myself in order to add it to my meetings or to keep track of my progress so this is how a contact works on hubspot and we can actually customize and add all of things right here so this is how you add contacts similarly you can add companies as well when it comes to you know our crm we have a lot of companies that we're working with right and we have a big business so using hubspot is really easy you simply open it up add a company domain name company name and then create on company so let's go ahead and add the name let's go with the socialguide.com then we have a company name and it is going to be the social guide then i will add industry computer software then we have type then i can add city and postal code all of the information time zone description linkedin and simply click on create company and a new company will be created right here on my hubspot similarly i will be able to add calls and check my activity feed from here when we go to sales right here i can simply go to deals and if you are into sales business you want to create deals then you will simply go to deals right here click on create deal so to create a deal i will simply click right here and it will allow me to create a new deal and i will be able to add all the information right here so you have deal name pipeline deal stage amount close date deal owner deal type priority associated with you can actually select from different companies and clients that you already have added and you will simply add the contacts click on save and a new deal will be created right here you can add a view as well such as a my deal view uh, my one deals this month and new deals then we have dates we have activity status we have filters available you can also import different deals from your different you know platforms then we have all pipelines and sales a pipeline if you want to edit your pipelines you can simply click right here and add more than these two pipelines then we have task option documents meetings again you can create your own meetings right here uh, the way i showed you then we have automation as well we create your own workflows we can also create our own email marketing campaigns within our hubs to help us with our crm then we have reports and it will give you reports about all of your dashboards that you have created on hubspot so hubspot is actually all in one amazing platform that allows you to to create your own workspace of yourself you can see right here all of my contacts are given here this is a you know dashboard that i have for my crm and i can edit it right here or i can add a report create a dashboard or perform different actions such as clone activity low copy and delete so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know how to use hubspot crm don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel